Hello friends, we are still not employed by a Fang company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do meeting rooms lead code problem, and this is actually a lead code premium problem. So uh, if you want to know that what are the list of companies that have asked this question in this in their interviews, that comes later in the video, and I have provided the timestamp for that, you, so you can directly go and check it out. Let's understand the problem statement. Essentially, we are given an array of meetings uh, called intervals. And we are given start time and an end time for uh, every single meetings inside this given array. Now we need to determine that if one person can attend all the meetings or not. So let's try to understand this given uh, problem by an example. So over here we are given three different meeting times and let's try to plot them on this number sequence that we have created. So first meeting starts from zero time and it lasts until 30 minutes. Second meeting starts at uh, five minutes and ends at 10 minutes and third meeting starts at 15 minutes and end at 20 minutes. So over here we can clearly see that there is no way possible for one person to attend all the meetings because there exists a conflict between this meeting and this meeting and there also exists a conflict between this meeting and this meeting and this meeting. So because there is an overlap between intervals and essentially that's what we will have to determine in this problem. So over here we can clearly return false that there does not exist uh, any way possible for one person to attend all the, all the different meetings that are given in this interval. Now if we take a look at the second uh, example and let's try to plot it in uh, uh, on a number sequence. So over here uh, we can imagine a number sequence like this and over here we are given one meeting that, is, that starts at 7 and ends at value number 10 and second meeting starts at 2 and ends at value number 4. So over here we can clearly see that it's uh, possible for one person to attend this meeting and after that he can attend, uh, he or she can attend this meeting. So in this case we will return true and uh, basically that's what we will need to determine. Now the, the tricky part over here is that we will have to determine that how do we identify that there exists overlap between any two values. So suppose over here in this example if we are given an uh, another meeting that starts at 3 and ends at 5 something like that now in this case can we say that uh, does there ex uh, can one person attend all the meetings or not well we can clearly see that because there is an overlap between these two meetings one person won't be able to attend all three meetings and over here we will have to return false the thing is why we were able to determine that over here there exists an overlap uh, so because over here we see that the starting point for this meeting and ending point for this meeting is from 2 to 4 so that is one interval and if we look at this one the starting point from this for this one and this ending point for this one is 3 to 5 so this is 3 to 5 so over here if we consider this particular um, uh, interval we can see that the starting point of this interval actually falls somewhere between any other interval that already exists so at any moment, if we determine that the starting point of some interval, if it falls between any interval and this condition is satisfied that two is actually less than three and three is actually less than four, which means three falls in between this interval. So that's why we can determine that there exists an overlap. And the moment we identify that there is an overlap over here, we will immediately return false. And uh, this is how we are going to approach. Suppose we are given an input like this, uh, the different intervals are given and this is the number sequence that we are going to use. Now over here, essentially if we want to determine that can one person attend all the meetings, we will have to check that whether there exists a conflict or not. So if we look at this first scenario, previously we determined that how to identify an overlap. So if we look at the starting value of this 20, we will have to check that whether this 20 exists in between some intervals. So over here, this is 10 to 15. So 20 does not exist over here. Uh, this is 35 to 45, so 20 does not exist over here. And this is 10 to 20. Now this is this meeting ends at 20 and this meeting starts at 20. So this is also a legitimate scenario because 20 is not part of this interval. So that is why we can determine that okay, this meeting is good, like the starting point does not have a conflict with any other meetings. Now let's see about this one. So this meeting is from 0 to 15, right? So does there exist any conflict between these two, between this 0? So 0 does not exist between this one. Uh, 0 also does not exist over here and 0 does not exist over here. So we are good. 
same goes for this 35 that 35 does not exist between these two these one or this one so we are good but when we come to this value number 10 we can clearly see that this 10 actually falls between this 0 to 15 because this condition is satisfied 0 is less than 10 and 10 is less than 15 so over here we can clearly see that there exists an overlap between these two elements and we can clearly we can immediately return false so this approach would work perfectly fine but what is the issue with this approach the issue is that this takes big o of n square time why big o of n square time because remember for every single element we will have to check all the remaining elements based on the starting point uh, same goes for this one same goes for this one so that's why we are doing n square work so this work can greatly reduce if we just sort the given input uh, based on the meeting start times and let me show you how so let me clean this up and let me sort this given input so now we have the sorted input now in the sorted input if you take a look at it we are actually uh, we are actually able to determine that whether there exists an overlap uh, immediately how all we need to do is we'll need to compare the starting point with the ending point of the previous interval if the starting point is actually less than the ending point of previous interval we can determine that this meeting actually starts before the previous meeting ends and immediately we can identify that whether there exists an overlap or not so this is basically our solution like in this scenario we can clearly see that the moment we are in the meeting from 0 to 15 so there is a meeting going on from 0 to 15 and before this meeting ends there is there is another meeting that starts at 10 and lasts up until 20 minute mark so there is an overlap over here and immediately we will return false in this case so this approach actually works and uh, it is more efficient than the previous approach we suggested uh, why it is most uh, more efficient because if we calculate the time complexity the time complexity in this case is going to be big o of n log n for the sorting operation because from this given input first of all we will have to create a sorted input and once we are done with that uh, if we want to identify the overlap we only need to check any two adjacent values at any given moment and the moment we reach to the end point and we don't find any issues we can return true or if we find any issue we can return false before that so this takes big o of n time so total time complexity can be considered as big o of n log n and uh, in terms of space complexity we are not using any additional space so we can say that we are only using constant time uh, to run this problem and uh, this is the final approach now let me show you the list of com now let me show you the list of companies that have asked this problem and uh, if you are not interested you can directly go to coding so essentially companies like amazon google facebook they have all asked this problem recently and microsoft and wayfair they are also really popular uh, well paying companies that have asked this problem also companies like bloomberg adobe and uh, ebay that one of my dream companies that i want to join in apart from the original these tech giants So first of all, we are going to sort the given input based on the start times of the given intervals. After sorting, we will have to iterate over all the sorted intervals and we are going to check that whether there exists an overlap or not. We are going to check that whether the uh, end point of any meeting is greater than the starting point of next meeting. If that is the case, we are going to return false immediately. And if this loop ends and we are able to reach to the last element, we are going to return true that there does not exist an overlap. And now let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our code is working. Let's try to submit the code. Okay, our submission works and uh, the code is actually pretty efficient and uh, I would be posting this in the comments. It is not too many lines of code and this problem is very similar to the previous three interval problems that we, are, uh, done, we have done. So I would be posting them in the comments. You, you can check it out from there. Thank you.